correct replacement and installation of hydraulic release bearing, clutch plate and pressure plate. In the selection of products, we must choose the products of professional and regular manufacturers, so that the use can be guaranteed. First, disassembly and installation. First, remove the gearbox by a professional worker, then remove the old hydraulic release bearing. Pay attention not to misplace the ceiling ring and wipe the ceiling ring clean. The mating surface of the hydraulic release bearing should also be wiped clean. Before installation, it is recommended to fill the cavity of the CSC with DOT 3 or 4 fluid. From the regular manufacturer with a syringe through the air inlet of the hydraulic release bearing. Compress the end face of the bearing, loosen it and suck the brake fluid into the chamber. Insert the hydraulic release bearing into the input shaft and then pre-tighten the oil pipe. Then gently stick the hydraulic release bearing on the flange mounting surface. And pre-tighten the three mounting screws. Finally, tighten each screw alternately. Ensure that the mounting surface of the CSC and the flange mounting surface are fully fitted. It is strictly forbidden to use an electric wrench or tighten a screw on one side avoid the state that one side of the mounting surface is inclined and does not fit, resulting in oil liquid failure. Wipe the end face of the bearing, remove the old pressure plate and clutch plate, replace them with new ones, and then pre-tighten them. Then pry the clutch plate with a mandrel to adjust the middle hole of the clutch plate to the center position, so that when installing the gearbox later, the input shaft can be aligned with the middle hole of the clutch plate, and then tighten each screw alternately with a wrench to tighten the pressure plate. Finally, install the gearbox and the removed relevant accessories. Second, pipeline exhaust. Fill the master cylinder oil pot with new DOT 3 or 4 brake fluid from a regular manufacturer. Poor brake fluid will damage the rubber cup. Loosen the bleeder screw, repeatedly lightly step on the clutch pedal to approach the maximum stroke until the brake fluid is discharged from the bleeder screw port. At this time, step on the clutch pedal to approach the maximum stroke, and then tighten the bleeder screw and then loosen the clutch pedal. Repeatedly step on the clutch pedal to approach the maximum stroke several times. Step on the clutch pedal to approach the maximum stroke again, and then loosen the bleed screw to exhaust, tighten the bleed screw again. Repeat this for several times until no air is discharged from the vent screw port, and then tighten the vent screw. Finally, fill the master cylinder oil pot with brake fluid. Exhaust it, cover the front cover, and replace it. 